awakening from a dream of Gandalf fighting the Balrog in the mines of Moria, Frodo Baggins and Samwise Gamgee find themselves lost near Mordor and discover they are being tracked by Gollum, a former bearer of the One Ring. Capturing Gollum, Frodo takes pity and allows him to guide them, reminding Sam that they will need Gollum's help to infiltrate Mordor. Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli pursue a band of Urukai to save their companions Merry and Pippin, and they enter the kingdom of Rohan. The Urukai are ambushed by a group of Rohamir, the people of Rohan, allowing the hobbits to escape into Fangorn Forest. Meeting Aragorn's group, the Rohamir's leader, Aomer, explains that he and his men have been exiled by Rohan's king, Theoden, who is being manipulated by Saruman and his servant, Grima Wormtongue. Aomer believes Merry and Pippin were killed during the raid, but leaves the group two horses. Searching for the hobbits in Fangorn, Aragorn's group encounters Gandalf, who reveals that after his fight against the Balrog, he was resurrected as Gandalf the White to help save Middle-earth. Gandalf leads the trio to Rohan's capital, Edoras, where Gandalf frees Theoden from Saruman's control. Aragorn stops Theoden from executing Wormtongue, who flees. Learning of Saruman's plans to destroy Rohan with his Urukai army, Theoden evacuates his citizens to the fortress of Helm's Deep. Gandalf departs to find Aomer and his followers, hoping they will fight for their restored king. Aragorn befriends Theoden's niece, Eowyn, who becomes infatuated with him. When the refugees traveling to Helm's Deep are attacked by Saruman's warg-riding orcs, Aragorn falls from a cliff and is presumed dead. He is revealed to have survived and rides to Helm's Deep, witnessing Saruman's army marching to the fortress. In Rivendell, Arwen is told by her father Elrond that Aragorn will not return. He reminds her that if she remains in Middle-earth, she will outlive Aragorn by thousands of years, and she reluctantly departs to the Undying Lands. Elrond is contacted by Galadriel of Lothlorien, who convinces him that the elves should honor their alliance to men, and they dispatch an army of elves to Helm's Deep to help fight the Urukai. In Fangorn, Merry and Pippin meet Treebeard, an Ent. Convincing Treebeard that they are allies, they are brought to an Ent Council, where the Ents decide not to take part in the coming war. Pippin asks Treebeard to take them in the direction of Isengard, where they witness the deforestation caused by Saruman's war effort. Enraged, Treebeard and the Ents overwhelm Isengard, trapping Saruman in his tower. Aragorn arrives at Helm's Deep and reveals that Saruman's army is close and Theoden must prepare for battle, despite the overwhelming Urukai numbers. The army of elves from Lothlorien arrives, as does Saruman's army, and a night battle ensues. The Urukai breach the outer wall with explosives and kill the elves' commander, Haldir. The defenders retreat into the keep, where Aragorn convinces Theoden to meet the Urukai in one last charge. At dawn, as the defenders are overwhelmed, Gandalf and Eomer arrive with the Rohamir, winning the battle. The surviving Urukai flee into Fangorn Forest and are killed by the Ents. Gandalf warns that Sauron will retaliate. Gollum leads Frodo and Sam through the Dead Marshes to the Black Gate, but recommends they enter Mordor by another route. Frodo and Sam are captured by rangers led by Faramir, brother of the late Boromir. Frodo helps Faramir catch Gollum to save him from being killed by the rangers. Learning of the One Ring, Faramir takes his captives to Gondor to bring the ring to his father, Denethor. Passing through the besieged Gondorian city of Osgiliath, Frodo tries to explain to Faramir the true nature of the ring, and Sam explains that Boromir was driven mad by its power. A Nazgul nearly captures Frodo, who falls under the ring's power and momentarily attacks Sam, who reminds him that they are fighting for the good still left in Middle-earth. Impressed by Frodo's resolve, Faramir releases them. Gollum decides to betray Frodo and reclaim the ring by leading the group to someone he refers to as her.